Hey. Voy a negar. ¿Cuánto cuesta? With my friend Marina Ramos. La Ramina Ramos. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Drees, and this is Drees Speaks number 63, man. Out of control. Way fucking out of control. But you know how I do. Let me go ahead and give some shout outs to the latest players and subscribers, man. Here they go. And now you can find Dries TV on Instagram for travelers only. Shout out to Jamil, says Feet White. Every time I see the video of the brother dancing in the street, Columbia tossing up money, I think there goes the Ninja Pie Pipe. If that behavior didn't have such dire consequences for all black men who travel there, I would laugh at that cat. Hey, personally, I kind of knew this was coming. So when I saw it, I was like, hey, you couldn't fight the inevitable. But my thing about that video was the simple fact, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a bullseye on it. So my question was, who shot the video? Could that be the simple fact that somebody's making an American traveler a mark? But that was my whole thing about the situation that was made me have the prediction that I had, which was in three to six months, Something real bad is gonna happen to somebody that's traveling. In fact, something did happen that was bad, but not in the way that I thought that it would actually happen. And I would air it out right now, but I think I'll wait till later and probably get that brother to come on to the panel. And if I get that brother to come on to the panel, I ask all my subscribers, I ask everybody that's viewing to be respectful. Shout out to Jamil for your question and suggestion. If you have any more comments, put them in the chat. And of course, I'll answer on the next video. Just putting y'all up on a little game. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what the, what the, what the? Shout out to Charles Explorers. Says, great video and suggestions. Just to be clear, the vaccine hasn't killed anyone and the side effects have been minimal. Save a black life and get vaccinated. Well, to be honest with you, man, I do understand what you're saying. It's just a simple fact that I do know that it was just people that had side effects. Nobody died other than the person in Brazil that died when I was there. But I just didn't feel like going back into the uh, editor and fixing it all over again. I just let it go. And I figured, you know, it'd just be like when some of y'all Negroes be writing shit fucked up on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Motherfucker just figured out what I mean. But nevertheless, man, shout out to Charles Explore, man. So please continue to comment. And I will be sure to burn on any question or comment you have in the next episode of Dream Speaks. Thank you. Jamil Edwards comes back and said, Feet white. Glad I caught the replay. The full figure, voluptuous, BBW, obese, delusional nature of female that is beyond laughable. Like I also say, whenever you show that, no, 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 laughing my ass off to the point of tears. What's crazy is you have some people who are willing to gripe with us about us using our options. As I was telling Richie Rich on his show the other night, I said, there's a five up the street from you. There's a five in Bucky, Atlanta, where he is. There's also a five in Parky Edis, Medellin. Take that five from Bucky and put it in Parky Edis. What does it become? But take that five in Parky Edis and put it in Bucky. What does it become? That's why I like to exercise my options, and you should as well. Thanks again, Jamil, for your comment. Please continue to comment, like, also share with your traveling brother.
Shout out to Respond D. Says, man, you like Nostradamus. You seen that coming in Columbia. Damn, it's like pink tail, some brother shit. It's like Chris Rock said with clubs in the hood. Grand opening, grand closing. You damn near gotta keep your locations to yourself. Yeah, well, as I said earlier, you cannot fight the inevitable. Some things are just gonna happen. And unfortunately, there's always one that ends up paying for someone else's fuck up. In some cases, plenty others that pay for one other's fuck up. But as I said before, you cannot fight the inevitable. Some things are just going to happen. Thanks for your comment, man. Please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to use it in the next episode of Dree Speaks. Roll a tape in the building. Says, good video, Dree's. What you think about all these fake YouTube pages? Trolls at an all-time high. Well, personally, I think that it's something that's out of control, but at the same time, it's something that you cannot stop. It's easier to be a liability rather than an asset. In other words, some people rather waste their time or spend their time based on how they value it on trying to tear you down rather than to do anything in the realm of something that can build you up. Some people say they need haters to let them know they're doing good. I don't need haters. I don't want haters. So for 2021, I will not be dealing with anybody that's not on a level moving upward. If they're not propelling themselves upward, I don't want to be around that energy at all. Because people like that, they don't do anything good for anybody. And nine times out of ten, the reason they're like that, because they probably are not doing anything good for themselves. As far as I'm concerned, trolls are people that let you know you're moving closer to your blessing. Because when you got 999 subscribers, you don't hear from them. You don't see them. You do not even recognize them. You get to 1,001 subscribers, all of a sudden, they want you to recognize them. And what's one way to be recognized? Negativity. And with that said, don't come running at me talking about so-and-so is, is, is talking about you. So-and-so said this. So-and-so is talking about this, that, and other, and the third. Shabada-da-ba-da-ba-da. Why? Because if somebody with common sense had a personal issue with you, you know what they would do? They'd probably pick up a phone, probably send a personal email, probably send a, a direct message. You know, what sense does it make to go to other people? Other people ain't trying to help you. They're not trying to help you solve an issue today. They just want to see what kind of bullshit you're going to come with tomorrow. So, once again, yeah, don't come over here saying this, that, and the third about somebody said this. And I am not interested at all. I don't give a shit what they say. I'm not interested in the energy of trying to talk about somebody else to uh, gain fame or gain, gain a name or, as y'all say, clout chasing. That's never been a thing I was into, talking about somebody else to... to, to for people to recognize me. If that's the case, I do not want to be recognized. That said, I will no longer recognize you. I'll just use that block button and just go on about my life because it's something I'm doing in my life that you want to do that you might not be able to do. But nevertheless, negativity won't hold me. Thank you, Roller Tate. Please continue to comment like and share with your traveling brother man i appreciate your suggestion as well as your question stay tuned for the next video i thank all of y'all for coming out and checking out the video please hit that like button or as i say go and wipe your foot on the road before you come on in the house to talk to Drees. but until next time this is Drees, and this is Drees speaks number 63 out of control peace